The band is just fantastic, that's really what I think. By the way, which one is me? All right, guys, so in today's video, I want to show you the top three things that I would do to rank in the Google three pack. In today's video, we are using the example criminal attorney. And if we scroll down, this is the Google three pack. As we all know, it is the most clicked area for local search. So if you're looking to get local leads, this is where you want to be. So I'm going to show you three things that you could do if you're not here. Number one, the first thing that I would do if I were, let's see, let's scroll down to somebody. Let's say that I was the Peter's Fred E. If I was the Peter's Fred E, <laughs> I would, I'd change my name. That's the first thing I would do, right? And I'd add the right I'd add the right category, but let's let's just say everything's correct, right? The first thing you want to do is you want traffic coming from this area. If you're trying to rank from this area, you want traffic coming from this area. So the first thing that I would do, number one, is call local schools, little leagues, churches, and see if you could advertise either on their newsletter or on their once a year publication or on their website. You need links coming back in this area going back to your website. Okay, so that's the first thing I would do is I would get, I, would, I need traffic coming back to my website. That's the first thing. So local backlinks. The second thing that I would do is I would place an ad, now follow me on this, either in Craigslist or on Facebook, saying that I have some type of giveaway, right, for the holidays that are coming up, or maybe, you know, for a charity, and to enter, just add our address to Google Maps, drive to the location, drop off, you know, the items, and you'll get a $5 of complimentary Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts gift card or something like that, right? You want people using your address and driving to your address locally. That has a huge impact, huge impact. So the next thing that you want people to do, the last thing you want people to do is leave your review. So I'd like you to look through your phone, I'd like you to look through your Facebook, and then I'd like you to look at your map and see who's in this area. Who's in your five mile radius on your phone? Which one of your <coughs> customers are on your, are in your phone or in your Facebook? So I got such a terrible cough. And what you want to do is you, you have to send them a review link and have them place a review using your keyword, criminal attorney, using your brand name, you know, Peters, Fred E, whatever your, you know, whatever your business name is. And, um, you know, it wouldn't be a, the worst idea in the world to also add a cross street, you know, something like that. Add a cross street if you're able to if you're able to put that in some way that would be great so you want the keyword you want the brand maybe the person you spoke with right and and do the review the longer the review the better now if you could translate the review in another language and put the review in two languages Russian Spanish right Google has a translator. They understand both languages. You're doubling up on the keywords. Don't do that with all your reviews. Just do it. Um, just do it once in a while. Just do it once in a while. Do not optimize all your reviews. The other thing, guys, is 
make sure you add a picture to your reviews. When you do a review, add a picture. So it would be best if somebody took a picture actually at your location if you have a um, if you have a brick and mortar store. If you're serv if you're service based and you work out of your house and you don't add your address, well then then you know maybe a picture of your job or a picture of the area or maybe even using a screenshot. Now this is, works very well also, using a screenshot of the map and using that as the picture. So just screenshot the map and use that as a picture. That works, that works really, really well. So those are my top, top hacks for ranking in the Google 3-pack. If, if you're here, if you're somewhere here and you can't rank in the Google 3-pack and you tried a couple of things, that I suggested, it may be another issue. Please reach out, you have my cell phone here. I'm very, very happy to help you. Um, I've been doing this for 25 years. I don't have a degree in this. I, I'm not a scientist, nor am I an engineer, right? So I don't wanna mislead you in any way. But I have been doing this for a very long time. All my clients do rank, all my clients rank. So. If I could help you, please feel free. If you'd like to do a consultation or if you just need, you know, a quick question, feel free. Shoot me over a text. All right, guys. So uh, like I always say in my video, please, if you're over 50 years old, please get a cardio CT scan. Please be good to your family. Right. Kiss your wife. Kiss your kids. Be good to your uh, be good to your family. Clean up around the house. Help out around the house. And if you're watching this video, you're watching it for a reason. You're trying to improve your business. And and I'm just telling you that you know, you're heading in the right direction. Right? I try not to make videos that have rabbit holes, meaning that, you know, they're just busy work and just something that'll take up your weekend or during the week or there's something that actually that could actually help your business. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions, shoot me an email or shoot me a text. I'll be happy to help you guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Brother, I know when I did silly stuff like this, I used to make you laugh. I just want you to know that I did this for you today, man. I think about you all the time, and I love you.